Hi everyone, my name is Natasha Henry and I am a Macmillan Physiotherapist based in Antrim Area Hospital. In this short presentation today, I would like to outline the role of exercise in the prevention of cancer. In Northern Ireland, it is estimated that between 30 to 50% of all cancers are preventable. There are many risk factors for the development of cancer, such as smoking, obesity, alcohol use, environment pollution, infections, radiation, and decreased physical activity levels. From recent research, it has been highlighted that up to 50% of adults in Northern Ireland do not meet the recommended levels of physical activity. Based on current UK recommendations, adults are encouraged to take part in at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic activity per week or 75 minutes of vigorous activity or a combination of both. Strength training should also be carried out on two days per week and balance and flexibility training on two days per week. Moderate intensity exercise could be going for a brisk walk, swimming and cycling, and more vigorous intensity activities could include running, climbing the stairs, or taking part in a sport such as badminton or tennis. Strength training activities include going to the gym, lifting weights, are carrying heavy shopping bags. Balance and flexibility exercises such as yoga, bowls and tai chi. Some top tips for getting more exercise in your day could be going for a walk during your lunch break at work or when you drop your kids to school in the morning. Alternatively, why not park your car further away in the shopping centre? Once you have established a good walking base, you could then try walking a little faster. If you've not been taking part in regular exercise recently, it is important to start slowly and gradually build yourself up to the recommended amount. The recommended amount of 150 minutes per week can be broken up to 30 minutes activity over five days per week and broken up even further into short 10 minute bursts three times a day until your exercise tolerance improves. Remember, any exercise is better than none at all. Exercise has many benefits. Number one, it can immediately help improve sleep quality and reduce feelings of stress and anxiety. Taking part in exercise helps to release endorphins that will make you feel good. Number two, exercise can help to keep your heart healthy and lower your risk of heart disease, stroke and type two diabetes by a third. Number three, exercise is also good for brain health. It lowers the risk of developing both dementia and depression. Number four, regular exercise can also play a key role in decreasing the risk of developing many cancers. In fact, taking part in exercise regularly can reduce the risk of breast and bowel cancer by up to a quarter. Number five, Regular exercise also keeps your muscles, bones and joints strong, functioning well, helping to decrease your risk of falls and fractures. If you introduce active habits today, you'd be well on your way to a healthier lifestyle. When starting any form of exercise, it is important to find an exercise that you enjoy doing and that fits in with your lifestyle. It can also be very beneficial and enjoyable to take part in exercise with friends and family members. Finally, the key message today for us is to minimise the time we spend lying on the couch and sitting on a chair and spend more time moving around and taking part in an activity that we enjoy.